boy Primo, man, on the Run Trucking TV. Appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. Now, before we get into this video I got for y'all, man, this is why I always say, I know I know companies got their policies and whatever like that, but me, I don't give a goddamn. I'm bringing the gun with me wherever job I go to and always keep it in my truck as long as, uh, you know, it's, a, it's legal by law in the state I'm going to. You can't play no games out here, man, because one thing about it, company tell you one thing, but what you going to do out there to protect yourself when you out there in the field? Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all do. If, if y'all working for a company, or even it's your own company, whether you're a company driver or owner operator, what do y'all do? Do y'all do y'all keep it? Y'all stay ready, or what? What, what do y'all do? Jump in the comments. I'm gonna put this video on for y'all. Driver of an Amazon big rig that drove off I-5 and crashed into a building in Lathrop yesterday has died. That's according to the San Joaquin County Medical Examiner's Office. They're identifying him as 37-year-old Ilkam Shodiev of North Carolina. CHP says the driver was shot on I-5 before going off the roadway. ABC 10's Becca Habiger joins us live now from Lathrop, where that semi-truck went off the road. And Becca, you talked with someone today who watched it happen. Tell us what they shared. Chris and Laura, this is such a shock for the community here. First, that a, a big rig went off of I-5 here and smashed into the building across from this parking lot where I'm standing. Uh, you, you can see it's been boarded up, but you can still see some of the damage there on the ground. And then for the community, learning the driver had been shot on the freeway and finally getting that sad confirmation today that he had died. You know, one man who witnessed the crash is sharing his story and his video with us tonight. It was a normal day. We're, we're driving down the freeway, heading home from work. All of a sudden, I just saw this diesel just go off the freeway, plow down through a fence, go in up into a parking lot, and uh, push a car, smash a car into a building. Marcelo Lopez says he did not hear or see anything unusual leading up to the crash, which happened around 1248 Thursday afternoon. I didn't see any cars acting funny or nothing. It just went off the road. I thought it maybe it was a medical issue he later learned along with the rest of the community that the driver had been shot on i-5 and died as a result it's terrible i mean that's a working man you don't believe it you're like oh my gosh what what how can people act like this and do this getting reports that this was possibly a shot fired incident with the bigger going off the freeway the california highway patrol tells abc 10 it does not have any information to share on a shooting suspect or their vehicle but they are asking for possible witnesses to help in a facebook post chp writes if you are driving northbound on i-5 between state route 120 and louise avenue in lathrop between the hours of 12 30 and 1 p.m on thursday and have a dash cam we need your help. Any footage of this area during this time frame could be helpful, and we would ask that you contact CHP Valley Division Investigative Services Unit. Lopez went to CHP with this video he took. I'm encouraging anybody to report it, try to help this man that was unfortunately lost his life working. And you saw the Amazon logo on that truck. We did reach out to Amazon for a statement. A spokesperson tells us we're very sorry to hear about his passing and our thoughts are with his family during this difficult time. We're continuing to cooperate with law enforcement as they investigate this incident. Uh, Amazon notes, by the way, there were no Amazon packages uh, on the truck at the time of the crash. Chris and Laura. Man, yeah, that guy's such a man fuck them packages. Please add in some stupid shit that make you want to slap the shit out of one of them reporters talking about a package. This man lost his life. It ain't like he got into a car accident. This man dead. And you talking about a goddamn package. Boy, and that's why I always say, and I know Amazon's one of them companies because I'm pretty sure everybody on this channel knows as soon as you walk up to that door, it says no weapons, no firearms, whatever. So we already know they don't want their truck drivers to have them. But me, I'm going to have that thing with me. Because ain't nothing worse than getting killed doing 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 what you're supposed to be doing. And I don't I don't advise people road rage. You know, truck drive. We're not gonna catch up to no car anyway. Somebody cuts you off if you flick them off. It don't make no need to swerve and do all the reckless shit, man. Because you you're not gonna win that battle, and you got more to lose than them. So I don't advise the uh the uh, road rage and all that. Somebody cut you off. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Being a truck driver actually calmed me down because I'd be mad as hell, right? Road rage like a motherfucker, man. But driving a truck really showed people as assholes and they gonna, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue to happen and they're going to do what they do. Nine times out of ten, I'm almost positive that this was a road rage. I'm going to keep up with the story to see if I can find out more information. But I'm almost positive 
somebody cut somebody off, whether it be the truck or him and whatever, talking shit and whatever, and then there's the outcome. That shit ain't worth it. Somebody cut you off or flick you off, fuck it, man. You getting money. Because now look, and now you know, I'm pretty sure his family going to try to sue Amazon. So that's what I want to know. And I, the question is for my people out there on, watching this video, are y'all carrying in your truck, whether you company or owner operator, even if it's against the rules, which, which y'all think? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell.